Journals are something people care about more than flushing the toilet because there are so many juicy secrets and thoughts inside someone's journal and you can really discover who a goober actually is. And that is unfortunately what happened to Miles when he dropped his journal and it was picked up by a school teacher to which he exposed his truth right in front of his face in the Miles Morales comic series. So this episode of Beyblade begins with Miles having a tough day of dealing with Green Goblin and handing him over to the feds. But it looks like he has a bigger demon to deal with and that's academic probation. Which if you don't know, academic probation is like the ultimate warning, the ultimate twist of the femur by by school which lets you know that your grades are down and if they don't go up you'll get kicked out of the school so miles was heading to that meeting to discuss the terms and conditions of the probation but it turns out he was already late for the meeting and his teacher mr dutcher was here to let this lego figure know that he is always late and he finally knows why because the answers are hidden inside of this journal this bible of spider-man this quran of miles and the reason why he has this is because miles accidentally dropped it and now he knows everything about miles and right before he was about to refer to him by his real name it seemed to have been called upon by someone else and it turns out it was the mutated android logo the green goblin who escaped the feds and got other yucky android phones to do some of his dirty work and the reason why he is here is because he smells spider-man being in this location so miles was about to whip out his fire flower and power up but then he immediately got slammed against the wall by some samsung phones but who in their bloody ball sacks cares right now because goblin wants spider-man and is asking who was in charge of this esports tournament of his school so the principal steps forward to negotiate with goblin and after goblin called my man a shorty he said that if spider-man is not here in the next two minutes this teacher will get crushed but the principal said that you could find what you want but on the condition that you don't hurt anyone and just take me as a hostage and then he goes on a little tangent that he's scared and that he has a stupid wife and daughter that he wants to see again but his main priority is protecting his students right now but right before goblin was about to lay a battle axe on the principal dutcher comes out of the doctor strange portal to reveal that he knows where spider-man is and he finally reveals that he is spider-man but goblin calls his bluff and swings his wee-wee across his face like a baseball bat but luckily this little distraction gave miles the chance to suit up in his power ranger suit web up goblin and go on to do his spider things now from this point on this fight goes a little more predictably than my interactions with women and that's that this gets embarrassing especially for goblin because his nipples get shocked he gets soaking wet he gets his meat beaten by a dude proceeds to start sucking toes and ending it off with a fist to the chin to which goblin kangaroo leaps out of the school like a big fat green donkey poodle noodle but anyway some time has passed and bowser's koopas come onto the scene and miles is also back to his regular skin and is ready for the meeting but clearly he can't have this meeting in this landfill of cringe so the conversation steers towards miles and the contents of his journal and dutcher was very interested in going more in depth in this miles bible and Miles was shivering in his high heels to see what he would say, but it turns out, after Dutcher read this journal, he found that it was the most entertaining piece of fiction he has ever read from an underperforming student. And Miles was super confused, but he decided to just go along with it, and the teacher decided to put a little cherry on the nostril, because after Dutcher assessed Miles on how he contributes to the community of the school as opposed to just academics, they decided to take him off academic probation. So it looks like this school meeting went pretty well for the most part. And yeah, that's it. Bye.